What's up everyone, Mike here from The Art of Guitar. Today I wanted to talk about tapping and uh, pick tapping in particular. You know, when I first started guitar, all I wanted to be able to do was tap eruption. My dad had the eight track way back in the day and he put it in and I couldn't believe the sounds that were coming out of the guitar. I thought it was actually a keyboard doing it because it sounded so crazy. Then when I learned that it was a thing called tapping, when I first started playing guitar, that's all I wanted to do. So I did all the typical beginner tapping patterns like this. You know, the 12-5-8 pattern that you do all the time, or the 12-8-5 pattern. Well, anyway, that's a really good one to start with. But I did this for so long that all of a sudden my uh, tapping finger got really sore. So I started using other fingers. I thought, okay, I'll use my index finger. And then that got sore. So uh, I had really weak fingers back then. So all I had left was my pick. So I started to do pick tapping. And what I found out right away is that it's not as accurate. You know, I wasn't able to really keep the strings quiet that I wanted to. I wasn't able to mute the way I wanted to with pick tapping as much. But one thing I was able to do was bounce the pick really fast. And I use what I call the video game technique. That's where you kind of button mash and you're able to do it really fast like a vibration. So over time, I started developing this kind of thing. <laughs> I thought that was the coolest thing because you just got to put the pick against the string and just let it bounce just like you're playing video games like I said. So I did pick tapping all the time and I loved it. I still do as much as possible. So I was really shocked when I was trying to investigate the origins of pick tapping. Uh, if you look just with tapping, you could find a lot of people way back in time that tapped. Even a guy back in the 50s was tapping. Some crazy gypsy guitar guy. You could probably find that easily on YouTube. And uh, he was doing some really intricate tapping. Uh, stuff that if you saw someone do today, you'd be amazed by. But he was doing it way back, way before Eddie Van Halen. And so if you do a little investigating, you'll find a lot of guys who are tapping. Now, if you try to find the originators of pick tapping, it's a little more difficult. What I was surprised to find was a Frank Zappa video come up where he was playing a solo for like a talk show. And just right in the middle of his solo, which by the way, he's a really interesting soloist if you ever want to check out some of his stuff. Um, it's really a different type of soloing and I really respect it. I just have this, it has this musical quality. It's a little bit messy in a cool way. It's not very shreddery. Uh, shreddy, I don't know what the word is there, but um, it just ha he has his own particular style when he plays. Anyways, he was soloing, then he reached over and I was like, oh, he's gonna tap. This is cool, because it's 1976 in this video, two years before Van Halen's debut album came out. But it sounded like he was using his pick. So luckily they switched camera angles and you could see that he was pick tapping. Check it out. <laughs> Now he's using it very musically. You know when I did that bend tap earlier, it was very much like a siren type sound, more of a sound effect? Well he's doing more like this. So it'd be really hard to get that sort of uh, sharp sound with your finger, unless you had an insanely calloused finger that you tap with. So using the pick can give it its own sound. And I really like the way Frank uses pick tapping in this instance, just because it sounds very musical and it fits perfectly with his eclectic style. So I'm putting this video out, hoping I get some answers as well. If you guys want to leave some comments about the earliest uh, footage you could find of somebody pick tapping, that would be really cool. It'd be doubly educational, both for you guys and me, if I could learn uh, who was actually the originator of pick tapping. So I'm sort of putting a little uh, task out there for you guys to figure this out. But as far as what I've noticed and what I've been able to research, uh, for example, 1976 seems to be the earliest one I could find so far. So it's pretty amazing. Back in 76, someone pick tapping, especially on national TV. It's kind of cool. All right, guys, let me know what you find, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Thank you.